I'm going to say this, because I think you guys are bringing up a really interesting point. Um, me personally, what I realized in this game at a certain point, and I decided to be like, nah, leading by intimidation is not it. Trying to be aggressive, because we just do that shit. We run up on DJs and play the rec, you know. Yeah. What I realized was anybody that was the epitome of aggression was finding a point where they were falling. Look at Suge Knight. It hit, right? Mm -hmm. He hit that ceiling. It was like somebody knocked his ass out, and then he wasn't viewed as that, at that, at, you know, to the world as that tough guy anymore. Right. But, be, but keep in mind, he built an entire empire off of that image. Right. Right. The other dude of uh, Forty Glock. You know, there's so many instances of, of guys that were building careers, successful careers, off just being like super aggressive and, you know, animalistic and just, you know. And then what you realize is like, there's always a ceiling to that shit. Yeah, I'm about to say, there's, there's only one result. There's always shit. somebody that's mm. gonna come and check your ass or, or hit you when you're not looking. Yes. And now you're gonna falter to that. And now, guess what? Everything that you built is gonna crumble now because you built everything off of that intimidation factor. Right. That, that's, that was your cachet. That was your headline on Mad Square Garden. I'm the toughest motherfucker in the game. Right. But now you're not no more because somebody hit you when you wasn't looking or whatever the case may be. When I saw that, I was like, ah, oh, this is different. Fuck this. Yeah, I'm gonna start yeah. Being a tough guy is a <laughs> yeah, job yeah, yeah. that has very little pay it's and it's 24 hours. No reward, bro. You know, yeah, it's and, and it's like, there's no reward to it. You know what I'm saying? Don't look at me like I'm tough no more. I don't want you to. Right. Just look at me like as I'm, I'm, I'm a regular guy. I'm an actor. I'm a musician. I'm a father. I'm a businessman. I'd rather maturity, that perception. Man. Because right. there's no expectation with that perception. But God forbid anything goes left, I'm going to defend myself. And then, you know, I, if I have to. But it's not something I'm going to utilize as my, my, my staying point to, to, to achieve something or be successful. Because right. every, like I said, if you name them, anybody that's led by intimidation at some point in time, somebody done ran up on their ass and hit them they or hurt them, and they took that away from them. Right. Now what do they do? Right? Uh, five mics, you made an amazing point when you mentioned Jay-Z. And I'm not just saying that because it's just, you know, just People swear around. you say that. Yeah, but it's, just like, that. it's the truth. Jay-Z's not looking to be, you move around with Jay-Z. There's earpieces. You know, you see these bounces that are huge with the big t-shirts and all that shit that these motherfuckers run around with? Jay-Z got motherfuckers with custom suits that are like a block away in, a, in an SUV. And then mind you, there's one in front of him, one behind him, but there's also one a block away with an earpiece that's communicating with the guy in front. It's way different. He's not selling a tough image. He's a businessman moving along. So why not do that? Why, why not replicate Warren Buffett. Some of us was tricked, though. You know what I'm saying? Some of us was tricked. You can, you, well, you know. we, we don't replicate Warren Buffett because, with the exception of, of Jay and maybe um, Rick Ross. You didn't even know him, right? It, 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 <laughs> it, wasn't, it. Wasn't, it wasn't the message. Don't that's do that. Don't do that. No, that's there. not the information that you're looking for. I'm going to tell, tell you a motherfucker right now. Right now. I'm listening. Okay? That made one hot record and has as much money as probably almost anybody. Camilla, yeah, everybody know who you're talking about. Chameleon. Chameleon. Everybody know who you're talking about. I respect you right, right. on a whole other level right now, my brother. I didn't know for a second. Was I knew you ain't know that. I, that was the was I knew I respect you on a whole other level. I'm dead ass. I was on a whole other level, my brother. Dude that really I respect did it like that. you. That is truth. Chameleon. Yeah, one fucking record. One record. Yeah, one record. And he's... Riding dirty. I don't know. He's probably a billionaire by now. Quietly. Quietly. He went out to Silicon Valley. Yeah, he invested in so much. Smart, he, smart, opened, smart. He, he bought a house and, and got a bunch of um, like, uh, app developers really? to live in. It's called a startup, venture, uh, a startup home. And he bought a house and moved in a, a bunch of like, these app developers, Indian kids, white kids, to develop apps. And he said, whoever comes up with the best app, send it to me, and I'm going to go invest in it. And that's what he did. And he, he, his first one, I think, was called a Magic Studio or something like that. He sold that to Disney. Was that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. He sold that for $100 million. Then he went and took that and invested it in, in like Lyft and Uber and all yeah, this all other that shit. shit. No, this dude is crazy with it. It was crazy. 
Like you said, for one record? Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars off of one record. Wow. So it's, I think it's what you do with it. It's not about that. And then you got artists that have sold 10 million records and they're broke. They're filing bankruptcy. You know, they've got yes. liens against their homes and their, and their mortgages and their, their, their cars. I, I really think it's about what you do with the success. Man. Yeah, so, trying, to, trying to keep up that, that lifestyle after things ain't moving the, same, moving the right way for them. It's not just that. It's just not pivoting properly. Mm. Yeah. And, I, and I've been, I, I, I'm, I speak for myself. I'm the, I've been a victim of that myself. Just, oh shit, that wasn't smart. You know what I mean? Mm. Then you got, okay, you'll fix something else out, you know? And you have to continue to try to evolve and move and, you know, but I think, once again, to go, you know, back full circle, you're talking about Jay and certain people, the genius is not in your business decisions. The genius is in the people you align yourself with and you pick the right motherfuckers to go out and conduct your business. And Jay-Z's always been, to me, the king of that. He'll find the right people like John Monopoly and Warren. <laughs> and, and, you know, I hate to say where, where he got that from. Because to me, um, that sounds like the meme I put up the other day, like, oh, you sold drugs? Or well, you can run a company. That's right. Oh, you mm. did that? Well, you can do this. The only reason that sounds like to me you can handpick people because you had a block before. Or right. you had to fucking tell 10 niggas, yo, bro, you are working this corner right here, nigga. I gave you this. You're doing this. And I went in 5,000 by Friday, bro. I don't forget no number. I'm walking. See, Jay-Z? <laughs> I don't see Jay-Z in action back right, in the day. Right. But I swear to God, he looked like to me and most of the OGs I know. They're number book niggas. You be chilling with these niggas and they be like, hold up, fam. Right here on Tuesday, I gave you $750. Like, nigga, you're not there, they got the ball. You told me you got me. Right. What? Seven, yo, $750 right here, bro. Now you're asking for $10,000. Before I do anything, it's $750. I don't, you know. <laughs> I forget yeah, that's right here. Jay Z, like that type of nigga. I gave you three ounces, son. On on the 16th, it's the 19th now. You know what I mean? So mm. it's the very small, but I feel like that's that era of organization. I don't know. Why? I don't it's, know why. It's, it's actually something that comes from Henry Ford. Henry Ford. Yeah. <laughs> Henry crazy. Ford built his empire by recruiting people Ooh. who were experts in the things that he needed around him. Genius. He knew about cars. Cars was fine. Marketing, business, and all that shit. He didn't know about that. So he would go find people who were experts and make them join the team. And once he created the right circle, everything just went up. Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs. The president do that. Donald Trump yeah. just did that his whole four years he was president. Donald Trump actually did like a he entertainer. Hired, yeah, his beginning of, of his uh, real estate career. He lied. The right. This Smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends sleep earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the way you need to surf, you heard. Yo, Jim, I need a bomb I could drop on you niggas. Bad boy, I'm never gonna stop for you niggas. I don't give a fuck who you got as the illest. I solidify my spot with gorillas. Now 